Hi Jet Musto, what I'm going to be showing is a brand new challenge and it's going to be um, a slight variant on the tricep dip. It's going to be the 180 degree tricep dip. Instead of having the palms normally out in front of you or when you're gripping something, you need to turn the palms around 180 degrees. The tricep dip is the standard would be palms slightly wider and shoulder width level apart. A lot of people do the, uh, the feet together or the legs together. I tend to find this puts a hell of a lot of strain on uh, the lordosis right on the lower spine and the sacrum. So what I tend to do is I always tend to bend the legs or bend the knees very, very slightly. This protects the lower back. So what I'm going to do on this one on the 180 degree is slight bend of the knees not out the full extension, turn the palms 180 degrees once again, you can use a table, you can use a chair or whatever, but the form has got to be strict. So the thing being is, I'll just show two before I actually start. So what you do, you go down to a level, so that the elbows literally adjust up past hip level, and the bun is touching the back, well, the floor, I should say, and then you pop your soft bag up. So go down again, and up. The main objective of the exercise is basically to see how many you can do. Um, this is not a one minute test, it's just purely the, num the most number you can do before the arms give way, and trust me, the lactic acid will kick in very, very quickly. Um, Form will be checked for any of those, any of you, I should say, great athletes that decide to try this. Anyhow, um, this is going to be my attempt to get it goes. That has really built my heart rate up. I think on count I've done 120. That should be a good benchmark. Give it a try, see what you think of it. But trust me, your arms, biceps, shoulders, chest, arms, everywhere it hurts. Okay, this is Jed Masto signing off.